Good afternoon guys from Livingston, Montana. We just headed through town and uh, we're going to take a local's recommendation on a nice shakedown trip for our new expedition vehicle. Uh, this is also going to be nice because we're going to head off grid for uh, two or three nights. Uh, thank you so much for all the amazing comments uh, in our last video of the tour of our new Fuso Expedition vehicle. I do have one bit of news to uh, share with you. We just topped off the fuel tank and we got 12.87 miles a gallon and that included some freeway driving with speeds around 60 mile an hour and a uh, couple hill climbs and some in-town stuff. So if we could average 13 miles a gallon, that's not bad at all. So we're making our way about 40 miles outside of Livingston up the Boulder Road to Natural Bridge State Park. There's a waterfall up there and a handful of choices in terms of camping locations. We're gonna be at some higher elevations, so hopefully we'll get some cooler temperatures and just a nice restful weekend and an opportunity to try out the rig and see how she does. Well guys, what do you think of that ride? It's been pretty smooth in the truck. Um, gorgeous scenery. We're starting to head up into the mountains now. Pulled over here, the uh, banks of the Boulder River, I think, and gave Shelby a little dip to cool off. About to cool off myself. Oh yeah, good stuff. Are you cooled off, Shelby? Are y'all cooled off? Yeah. So since this is our first trip in the new expedition vehicle, uh, I thought I'd tell you like what our intentions are. You know, why did we want something like this? And what are we going to do with it? I'll tell you one thing, I'm not gonna do stupid stuff with our ride home. All we want is a vehicle that is capable of handling some dirt roads, uh, whatever mother nature or the travel uh, journey may throw at us and that's it sure there's gonna be some hardcore off-roading at times but we're not gonna go seeking out trouble I've learned my lesson you know I got plenty of stories from my younger days of uh, jacking up your ride home I think one of the most important things we want to do with this vehicle and it's been a step-by-step -step process for us is continue down this path of a changed mindset and you know this first trip out this weekend is really in an effort to take a step in that direction of slowing down and enjoying what's around you and not being in such a rush I gotta say every time you think the view can't get any better you turn another corner and it does I'm loving Montana I am too. I've always loved Montana. It's very much uh, got the Alaska type of vibe, but it's just landlocked. Yeah. Well, I hope I don't misspeak here, but my guess is that those are cranes. Uh, pretty cool. We've seen quite a few of them. And I'm trying to remember the uh, way to tell the difference. I think cranes fly with their neck straight and herons have like a uh, kind of like a crook in their neck but i could be wrong and no more than a hundred feet up we have some more birds i'm gonna guess those might be turkeys wrong 
same way. Huh. Everywhere we look, it says, do not enter. So we have made a wrong turn. So now we've come back down to that sign and there's another road leading back in here. It could just be the campground. Yeah. I think we're gonna make this a learning opportunity, guys. Remember how Beck was mentioning we need to slow down and embrace things and just chill? Well, this is called making lemonade out of lemons. And seriously, this is like not a bad place to camp by Pretty any sweet means. lemons to start with. Yeah, these are Myers lemons. <laughs> Forgive my voice, guys. I don't know what's going on, but I think it might be uh, sleeping with the windows open all night. Like our bed literally goes between two windows. And I don't know if all that dry air is getting to my uh, throat or what, but I'm feeling great right now. Uh, I don't know the name of the campground that we're at because we're not lost, but we really don't know where the heck we are either. So, but now, it's time to chill out. This is definitely some cold water, guys. Woo! Okay, this is our campsite. And now it's time to relax in our new chairs. We got these at a uh, kind of like a farm supply store in Livingston called Murdoch's and they were only $32. Well, they're playing good music. They are. If you gotta have neighbors playing music, at least it's good. Silver chair. A minute ago, it was Dave Matthews. Am I the only one who goes to other campsites and robs scraps of firewood for our own fire ring? All right, that's a wrap for the day. We are going to send the drone up for some obligatory footage. And uh, also, I've noticed the past few times I've sent the drone up the video quality hasn't been very good uh, since it went for a swim in that river in Alaska so I uh, decided I'd put brand new propellers on because if anything's out of balance that way it would uh, probably reflect in the video footage so it wasn't horrible but to my eye I could see that the footage was definitely not right Tonight's dinner, two sirloin cut steaks of our caribou harvest from Alaska, one of the tenderloins, seasoned potatoes, and seasoned carrots.